In this episode of Small Town Vegan, I'm bringing you along on a weekend boating adventure. I'll show you what we ate, and you'll find out how things went horribly wrong. We set off on Red Lake to celebrate my husband Rick's birthday with the first boating trip of the season. We're in the boat for the weekend, first meal, and it's gonna be lunch, and I'm making some, some pizzas and some salad. I'll show you now. I often make a big batch of pizza dough in my stand mixer, and then I freeze some for later. I brought enough dough for two pizzas, and I cooked them on one side in a dry pan. Then I flipped them over and started garnishing with tomato sauce, veggies, and homemade seitan, little bits of them. Then I added cheese, one with vegan cheese and the other with dairy cheese. I find that cooking them over low heat with a foil on top helps melt the cheese much better. I made some Caesar salad to go with the pizzas. Again, one vegan and one vegetarian for Rick. Look how perfectly this crust turned out. Delicious. So relaxing to get away from work for a bit and just let the water soothe and heal us. It was nice and sunny out in the water, but pretty cold, 
So no swimming this time around. Rick did some catch and release fishing while I read and drank and cooked. For supper, we fired up the barbecue to cook up some potatoes with red onion and vegan steak. Topped with brandy barbecue sauce, it was really delicious. second day, we got to sleep in, and we woke up to the gentle lapping of water on the hull of the boat. Then I made a hearty vegan breakfast. Roasted potatoes, vegan sausage, and tofu scramble with lots of veggies. It was really satisfying. And it's a good thing, because we wouldn't be eating for many hours after that. We got the boat started and headed for our second bay for night number two. Everything was going fine, until it wasn't. Good thing we always tow a second boat for fishing and for exploring islands. This time we used our second boat to tow our big boat to the nearest dock. That took two stressful hours. Good thing it wasn't really windy, that helped a lot. Once our boat was safely landed at the dock, we jumped into the little boat and motored to go get our truck and trailer so we could get Suncatcher out of the water. Okay, step three, got the truck. Step four, going to get the trailer now. Driving back through Red Lake to go get Suncatcher, I was suddenly starving, so I had some vegan jerky. They really hit the spot. We're back for the boat rescue and it looks like some people are making themselves comfortable right next to our boat. Mm -hmm. Usually the process of putting our boat onto the trailer is super simple, but not this time. As a vegan, I try to be tolerant of hunters and fishermen because Lord knows my small town is full of them. They just don't see the animals they kill as living beings worthy of their life. I try to just plant seeds of compassion wherever I go and try not to cry openly. There we go. Don't drop them in the water. No, no, I know. Very nice. 
I've never had a hard time like this uh, putting the boat on the trailer. It's uh, yeah, not going as well as we anticipated. That was scary. It was like wobbling, and I thought it was gonna fall there for a minute. It's, uh, looks like we're out of the water. Now we just gotta see if the truck can pull it up this hill. What we didn't know is that the right-hand boat landing was super crooked. Yeah. The cement crooked. was all cockeyed, so, so it resulted in our in boat water. going on the trailer all messed up. Today. It just had to go back in the Near water because we had to get this right. Okay, we got her. All good, all straight. We're ready to take him to the shop. Hooray! We finally got the boat onto the trailer and we could pull it home, then to the repair shop on Monday. Of course, that also meant that our weekend was cut short and we were homebound for the rest of it. So we had the meal we were going to have on the boat at home that night, a supper of vegan ribs and corn on the cob, plus lime gin. This adventure is definitely going into the maintenance log once we figure out what's wrong with the boat. And that concludes our eventful weekend on the water. If you enjoyed this video, click that like and subscribe button to let me know. Small Town Vegan. Living and thriving as a plant eater in a small town.